Ati he Māori ora, whakataka te hau ki te tonga, whakataka te hau ki te uru. Kia mā kina kina ki uta, kia mā taratara ki tai, e hi ake ana te atākura, he teo, he huka, he hauhu, ti he Māori ora. Voyaging is a common heritage to Pacific Island people. This could only be done with careful planning an understanding of the ocean, to ensure the right timing, to know and wait for the right winds, the tide, and to be able to take advantage of the right currents to enable us to reach our destination. In preparing our canoe or vaka for our voyage, we need to have the right supplies, tools, and expertise needed. This is the voyage that the Pacific Ocean Scape has taken. My government designed the Pacific Ocean Scape in a way that will ensure not just the support, but ownership of this initiative from within the region. We face raise the concept of the Pacific Ocean Scape with support from Conservation International at the 40th Pacific Islands Forum in 2009. We drew expertise from across our region, peoples, and cultures. We also engaged expertise and knowledge from the wider international community. We built this VAC from the, from the foundations of our Pacific plan and ocean policies. The full Oceanscape plan was adopted by leaders in 2010. Ladies and gentlemen, the fast passage of the Oceanscape from concept to a plan of action and its support across the region from my fellow leaders is somewhat of a record in our region. And I think underlies an important truth. That time has come. The time has come to recognize that the ocean governs every aspect of our lives, from the water we drink to the air we breathe and many of the food that we eat on a daily basis. A fellow ocean advocate, Dr. Sylvia Earl, sums this up very well when she says that without the blue, there would be no green. Without a, health, a healthy ocean, there would be no basis for our lives and our livelihoods. The time has come to regain the perspectives of our ancestors who knew and respected the ocean as an integral part of our lives. The time has come to commit to this Pacific Ocean Scape voyage through national and regional actions and ensuring that the world hears our ocean voices and listens and, join, and joins us on our voyage. As part of the regional commitment, I'm very proud to announce that our Pacific Island Forum's Secretary General Dilema Noroni Slade is our first Pacific Oceanscape Commissioner. The Commissioner's role is to be the united voice of our ocean in the region and to the world. The, this role is key as we prepare for the United Nations Rio Plus 20, an opportunity for our ocean voice to be heard by the world. Ocean conservation is not a new concept to us in the Pacific. We have been born with an ingrained sense of understanding that we are but the guardians of our natural environment, including our ocean. This is our mana, where mana means our legacy handed down through successive generations. We have inherited our great Moana Nui o Kiva, the Pacific Ocean, and we must feel the mana the responsibility, the honor of being its stewards. Unfortunately, we have over time forgotten this manner and have misused our ocean for our own selfish purposes through over-harvesting and polluting. 
the Pacific Ocean scape represents, presents us with a great opportunity to reassert our mana, our authority, <coughs> our power, and our respect and honor, and reclaim our inheritance, our great Pacific Ocean, Mwananui o Kiva. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the viral, the spirit behind the wish of the Cook Islands to declare approximately half of our exclusive economic zone as a marine park. Like Kiribati, we are fortunate and grateful to have the support of Conservation International and our very own South Pacific Regional Environment Program. I would also like to acknowledge the Cook Islands' very own Kevin Iro, who has been instrumental in lobbying government to establish the Cook Islands Marine Park. <coughs> he has pushed for the Marine Park with the same tenacity that he used when playing rugby league for the Kiwis. I wish to assure you all that in 2012, the Cook Islands will allocate a significant part of its ocean as the Cook Islands Marine Park as our commitment to the Pacific Oceanscape. We as a people will reclaim our mana, the mana which distinguishes us as a people and as a nation, the mana of being the guardians of our share of the Mōnanui o Kiva, the great Pacific Ocean. Thank you. Kia <laughs> It is with the past in our minds and the future in our hearts that the general phone of Tokelau and the council of the ongoing government has committed our waters today to the Pacific Oceanscape. And with this first step, we designate our water as a sanctuary for marine mammals, turtles, and sharks, our fellow voyagers. I was not born on an atoll, but perhaps therefore it is a very particular privilege to be invited to be part of your voyage for the Pacific Oceanscape. As with any journey, you can choose to go alone, and then you may well go fast, but if you go together, you'll go far. Yeah. And I've no doubt that you will go far, and I've no doubt you will be successful. And we are honored as a foundation, private foundation in the United States, to be part of your journey. It's a very great privilege for me today, on behalf of our board of directors, to announce a gift hopefully the first, maybe there'll be more, but a gift of a half a million dollars to support the initial phase of the Pacific Oceanscape. I'd like to just say a few words on behalf of the Marine Sector Working Group, and that is, uh, comprises representatives of the regional agencies in the Pacific, and also key partners and NGOs. And we are working together to try to find the resources and the support to give the backup to make Oceanscape a reality. The Marine Sector Group would just like to say thank you to you, to the leaders, for your inspiring commitments, for the leadership on Oceanscape, which is a model in this region and for the world. CI is committed to the voyage. Um, we've been working in the region for many years. I've had the privilege of diving throughout the region. And uh, we will be on your canoe, on your vaca, on your waka. We will be paddlers. In symbolism of this voyage that is starting tonight, and I think this is a very historic moment, that we will look back upon in the future. We'd like to acknowledge uh, the, the skipper, the captain of the boat, the, the man who has laid the course with a model of a, of a Samoan fishing canoe uh, 
to symbolize uh, what you've done, uh, President Tong. to end with a quote from Epeli. We are the sea. We are the ocean. We must wake up to this ancient truth. Nō reira, e ngā iwi o ngā hauepā, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā rā tātou katoa. Ahuri. Tato, e tu, 